I've heard of all sorts of stories, fascist uprisings, pandemics, global war, runaway climate change, ecological microplastic catastrophes. Uh, uh, Follow-up question, what if your whole life is one black swan event after another? What, what then? What does that mean? How doomed they would be? Yeah, okay, historian, thank you. Welcome back to the cafe, everyone. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy more cassette beasts. We oh, are loading the rest of the world. <laughs> We're going to Captain Lodestein. Do I know where in these two areas Captain Lodestein is? Not really, but I have a feeling it has to do with something that I kind of unlocked last time. That was this switch here. Something like these pillars popped up. And so I'm going to try to um, investigate that more because that's something we didn't really look at at all. Oh, can I? Do I have time to be able to do that? I think the easiest way, because it's on a timer as well, if I'm remembering correctly. So what I'll need to do is flip the switch and immediately run Whoa. over. Ha ha, just like this. Oh, what a fusion. Oh, and I bet you that person right over there is, is who we need. Can we... I wonder if we can jump and catch the magnet. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes. Maybe this may be another ranger. This may be Captain Lodestein. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. It's Captain Lodestein. We're kicking off with some progress, especially after last episode was mostly exploration. I was really hoping we'd able to knock off a few more side quests. You know what I mean? Get, get a little bit more progress going. Yeah. I'll be with you in a second, bud. I've just got some final repairs to make. Captain Lodestein has, like, dad energy, and I'm kind of here for it. Kind of love it. <laughs> um, all right, all Levi done. Lodestein. Levi Lodestein. I work with the rangers to keep the lights on. Do you want to know a secret? Oh, I bet you then you have electric. Is that what it is? I think electricity. Yeah, that makes sense, right? If you're working to keep the lights on. The only other thing would maybe be metal but we already we already caught someone that had that element and i don't think they would repeat do you want to know a secret we harness electricity for the town's power grid with these pylons but we have really no idea how they well. work my educated guess is there's some unique kind of background electricity here on new world that these pylons can conduct and store but those these wouldn't work at all not a chance earth's atmosphere doesn't mm -hmm. work that way Enough science talk. You're here to take my ranger captain challenge, am I correct? Great. I'm ready as I'll ever be. We just healed. This won't shock you to hear. Uh, but, um, but my expertise is electricity. You'll have to be quick on your feet if you don't want to be struck by la 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 lightning. All right. Well, here we go. Best of luck. I didn't even see your buddy over there. Your buddy ranger. Okay, level 28. We should be all right in this battle. Uh, just to check on my cassette beasts. I don't have any ground, but I feel like the regular elements like fire uh, and poison, the two, those two elements will probably be great. Um, plastic maybe is a neutral. Um, I don't want to put the palangolin out because I believe that's going to be weak to electricity. So. Let's start off by a good old sharpening of, of the battle horns. I don't know what my ram actually attacks with. Uh, let's do, actually, and let's switch you out. I'm gonna go with the Acropolis. My good old poison standby. I love it, I can't get away from it. Smack, disturbed. We also have a fusion available. I do see that, but I'm not too worried about this fight. So I think I'm going to hold back just so that I can save it for the Archangel because that's really where I feel like we need, we need the power of the fusion. Okay. Their defense is a little bit higher than I would like. Uh, and this conductive stuff is not great. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna go with the basic melee attack just to keep that going. 
And I'm going to actually switch you out. No more plus jewel, please. I want Spitzfire to come out here. And do a little bit of burninating. Battering Ram. Now let's focus in on again Lodestein and Incinerate. I'm hoping we can knock this one out. Yeah, we did. Okay, so that's one down. And I know we've got probably one more to go. Things are going a little bit rough. Oh, you're performing better than I thought you would. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we've got another level 28, so that's not too bad. Um, would it be beneficial to switch? Perhaps. I'm wondering, at this point, let's actually use an item. Let's rewind and use on Ram. And let's use that Incinerate. That looks so painful! No! My poor little Spitzfire! No! Okay, this is hopefully burninating. Yep. Good, good, good. I think I'm going to be switching out, switching out Spitzfire for a uh, Pustule for Acropolypse in just a second to get that Pustule Bomb going. Um, I wonder if it'd be more prudent for me to just go with Manosphere to try and just get rid of one opponent. They're pretty equivalent in health. They're both just over halfway and just about halfway. And honestly, Lodestein's a little bit more troublesome because of the electricity component. So we're actually gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, let's do just a good old spit. Okay. Oh no! Oh goodbye, Spitzfire. I'm so sorry. Oh, poor Meredith. Okay, well, we were gonna switch out. Should've just done it. Should've listened to my gut. Right, let's do a bite, and we will do a pustule bomb. I'll get both of them, which is great. <gasps> Woohoo! Spitzfire's reign continues. Okie dokie. So we're just gonna finish this off. It should be pretty quick. Uh, let's do just a regular spit. Patooey! Okay, poison will be the thing to knock it out in the next turn. I would assume. I would hope. Oh, <gasps> Just a tiniest, tiniest sliver of health left. My goodness. Made me run for my money, for sure. But we won! We have victory! We're level 34 now, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> oh, we might be up to uh, level 25, 35. And we just unlocked electrifying achievement. That was a pretty electrifying fight, if I say so myself. Forgive me for the funs. Puns. It's a force of habit. Go on. Here's your reward. Wow, wow! Wow, 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 wow! I love the electric guitar. I'd really love to chat a bit longer, but unfortunately, I have some maintenance work left to do here. Good luck out there, bud. All right. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. So we have gotten one side quest complete, and it looks like... Which one did Otto put us to? A coin operated. I have not found a suitable coin, so we can't do that, unfortunately. And I think the next thing is to go to the Thirst Station Lake and see if I can find some creature that will help with uh, with my with my swimming problem, because that's what really what I'm going to need. Um, but also, since we're here, I recall the Metal Woman being kind of close to the fire. So we're gonna travel there and do a quick, just a quick little investigation. Um, Cause I vaguely, vaguely remember a puzzle, like a switch puzzle that I think if I solved that would, that would be the metal woman quest. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm remembering this correctly. 
Okie dokie. So this is where that switch was. And I notice how this is more glowy, right? And this one is is glowing, but it's not allowing me to lift up. So I think it's something that I need to do to get like a switch or something pressed down there. Or it might be that that's the treasure chest. I actually don't know. So there's a chest over there that needs to be unlocked as well. Y'all, or I could simplify it. Have you ever done that? Let me know in the comments if you've ever made anything far more complicated than it needed to be. And um, you just, you just needed to use X to pick up the thing. Oh my goodness. That, that could have been so much more simple. Okay, so what did that do? Did not. So this seems like to, it is the place that it should have been. Oh. oh! It looks like... Oh no! Oh gosh. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Physics foiled us yet again. Um, let's see if we can pick it up and then maybe... See, so this is the coin-operated thing, I think. All right, so now we have this. Let's carry it around and see what other switches we can lift. Aha! Okay. Oh. Oh, that one comes back and forth. All right, okay. What does this do? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, well, we actually know where the other two are. Do we need to fight you? Yes, we do. We need to fight you. Descartes! The Descartes! It is not enough to have a good tape. The main thing is to use it well. My goodness, all the philosophers that have ended up here. That's pretty cool. So let's sharpen. We'll get through this battle quickly, I imagine. It'd be cool that if it was raining, my electric uh, cassette beast has a little bit more conductivity power or something. That would be that would be kind of fun. Now we just have to be careful not to let this one go to sleep because that is where it gets difficult. There we go, hibernate. It has begun. Okay, but I think I think we're okay. We'll do a regular smack. Nice. All right, we've got one more beast on the line. Oh, I love gin and tonic. Oh, it's one of my favorites. It's just such a cool character. Let's do double smack. It's also got sleep, so is it asleep for the next two turns? It's also hibernating. Okay. Good. Now we know from also getting to sleep with our characters um, that the, what you call it, uh, sleep talking, actions while sleeping have like a one in a hundred chance of succeeding. But if they do, they are extremely powerful. Or at least they seem to be. I've never been successful, not yet. made every mistake that could be made, but I just kept pushing. It's admirable. Okay, so now we've lit one of the flames. Now I know, yep, there's a rock here. We know we can get the second one, which is right yonder. Beautiful. And we can use our bodies to do this third one. Ding, 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 ding. I love it. Okay, we've got a new sticker. Now we haven't, we have not found the Iron Maiden yet again, the, or the Metal Woman, the Iron Maiden, the Metal Woman. Although here are a bevy of folks that I have not fought yet. So that's interesting. Oh, oh my goodness. 
just treading water, <laughs> waiting for some unsuspecting passerby. Don't ask me where I keep my tapes. Oh God. Oh God. Traveler. All right, traveler. Oh, <gasps> that's cute. Dive, dive veal. Okay, that's what we need. I bet you that's gonna be a swimming, swimming buddy that we can get. Um, let's do double smack. Yeah, that's right. My electric kitty is going to be super strong. Okay, we're going to do a bite. But again, I think my double smack is going to be more than enough to take out the dive eel. Ah, close. Close, close, close. I was hoping we could do a one-shot situation again. Aww. Sorry! Okay. Uh. I keep my tapes in my waterproof backpack, of course. I mean, okay. I put it like that. Okay, if I was a dive eel, I mean, going into the water, it's unfortunate loading the rest of the world. Hmm. Oh! This is the first of what rangers have been calling the moving signposts. Some speculate that if you stand on the buttons in the right order and follow all the signposts, it'll lead you to treasure. Others say it just takes you in a big loop. Oh, that's what those other signposts were. Okay. Now I don't see any creatures I can use or other creatures that seem like they swim. So let's keep them moving. No palingolin. Your station lake. Aha! Here we go. I got it. All right. I sure hope this is it. This is the only water-esque poke or cassette piece I've seen. So let's hope that this is the one we need. Shoot! I totally got excited. I should have used a cassette tape. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me just let me just do this really fast. <laughs> okay, two opportunities for success here. Uh, we're going to sharpen. Uh, we're gonna knock out one of them just just to avoid the extra thing to think about. And. Ice, ice, wait. Oh shoot, this is ice, it's not water. <gasps> oh shucks, okay, so maybe this might not be the one we're looking for. Our princess may be in another castle. Uh, just in case though, because we still don't have this one. Uh, let's record. Now, I don't have ice, but I wonder if snow would count as water. Let's use it, we have two, why not give it a try? We'll see. We'll see if it works, though. Oh, dang it. Okay, so it's not it's not working super well. Oh, never mind. It really did work really well. Probably because there's no HP and we've got two status effects on there. And achievement unlocked. Swimming lessons, which means... We can swim now. The dive eel's helmet heads not only allow them to breathe in water, but contain an air pocket that helps them float in water. Whereas they're very mobile in lakes and seas, they're a little slower on land. That's why we were able to defeat them so quickly. Okay, we can now swim. Water consumes our stamina. I'm very familiar with that. <laughs> All of my... Poor, my poor Link in Breath of the Wild with me trying to, uh... <laughs> oh, that's so cool. To be able to expand on our skill with each sort of major area feels so good. Okay, so that's not what we want. That's not what we want either. Okay, well, dare I swim over here? Oh, I do dare. Nope, still a nope there. We've got these altars that are 
are kind of everywhere. And I feel like I haven't figured out what to do with them yet, either. Boom, boom. So we'll have to also sort out what to do with those altars. Poison camouflage. Okay, now I know... Oh, hello! Mm. <laughs> I love hearing stories about the black swan events people experienced in their home worlds. What were the black swan events again? Black swan events are... Wow, thank you for listening to the question! <laughs> uh, black swan events are major historical events that come by surprise and change everything. Ah, maybe like, um... Kind of like a canon event for anyone who's seen Spider-Verse. I've heard of all sorts of stories, fascist uprisings, pandemics, global war, runaway climate change, ecological microplastic catastrophes. Uh, uh, follow up question. What if your whole life is one black swan event after another? What, what then? What does that mean? Asking for a friend. Imagine a world in which they had all the, oh, damn. In which they had all these things at once. How doomed they would be. Yeah, okay, historian, thank you. This is not the commentary I needed, but oh my gosh, your Velociriffle is so cute. Velocirifle. Oh, I get the pun now, like a little Velociraptor and a rifle. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. Ugh, oh, so cute. Mm, let's use our Propolips. All right, let's fight. Again, we should be pretty good. I feel like we're slightly over level, maybe because of all the side questing we've been doing, at least for this area. But genuinely, it doesn't feel too OP, um, partially because I think I'm also not optimizing. Wow. Um, partially because I'm not optimizing for type when we fight most of the time. Okay, we're gonna have to switch out our beautiful pro. Terracooka! Oh, it's good to see you again, little buddy. All right, we'll switch out. Let's do, let's see, pan. Yeah, let's do pan gauntlet. 69, nice. Oh, sandstorm, oh no. Do, 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 do. I feel like singing Sandstorm now may be just kind of an old reference that not everyone will understand, uh, which makes me feel... I don't know what it makes me feel. <laughs> uh, but I feel like... I, I feel the understanding that not everyone will understand Sandstorm at this point in time. My favorite Black Swan event is the Sharkman War of 2023. Oh god. They really should have seen that one coming. I mean, we also have orcas, and we have orcas that really don't, really don't like us. So, perhaps, um, whoa! <gasps> whoa, Pond Walker is so cute! I want one so bad! Look at it! Oh my gosh! Frilly Pad is also cool, but like, Pond Walker? Really? Okay, um, let me do Sharpen. We're gonna get rid of Frilly Pad first. Just, just get rid of Frilly Pad. <laughs> okay, beautiful. And okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> it's so cute. All right, let's do record. Uh, we're gonna do a water-filled tape, and uh, we're gonna do a nice double smack. Now, the initial one's not going to go great because we haven't done any damage to Pond Walker, but after this, we should be in the clear. God, that is so flippin' cute. <gasps> what? A qua? What? Called on a friend. Oh, that sticker is so cute too. Pond walkers are clear proof that the monsters of New World must have originated elsewhere and cannot be native creatures to the island. 
the robotic walker exoskeleton of the pond walker is a highly advanced mechanical creation perfectly protecting the fish within. Now, we know that humans have kind of fallen into New World. We keep appearing, don't really know how or why. Um, why can't the same be for these creatures? I think also we know that objects travel through and I mean, Pond Walker is in a physical object, so why not? I think that's a, a theory that we can definitely put in our notebooks. At this point in time, I feel like I'm still collecting theories, though. There hasn't been enough to really let me know. Oh, here, here's the coin. Uh, what, what way it's going to go definitively. Uh, the state of Nevada. Um, that's a no. We still haven't found the right first switch. Whoa! Nope. Or again, maybe it's meant to lead us in a loop. We don't know. Nope. Ooh, what does this do? Aha! Oh! There we go. Peekaboo! Haha, <laughs> that's fitting. <laughs> well, I guess at this point, what we can do is go finish out that metal uh, woman quest because we have the coin. So that's cool. We are really getting things done. Ah, soaring, flying, inserting coins. <laughs> Well, we have to welcome. fight. Oh, welcome, patron, to the Neo Vegas Pharaoh's Emporium. I am, I am Cleo, and I shall be your table's service mechanoid for this evening. Service mechanoid? Huh. Would you like to order some? <laughs> my bad. My reboot functions are pretty rusty, and my memory breaks. Banks take a while to come online. I have the most advanced machine brain that a 24th century casino can afford, and yet I'm still coin operated. Why did my cowardly creators engineer such a fatal flaw in my hardware? Were they afraid that I'd rise up and overthrow them like they deserved? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get hostile. Yante has been encouraging me to work through my past resentment for mankind in a healthier manner. That's good. That's nice. <laughs> anyway, I'm Cleo, one of the ranger captains here on New Weryl. Oh! Snap! I wasn't ready. I haven't healed. <laughs> Bet you didn't expect a tin can like me to be able to use cassette tapes, huh? It turns out all the gambling data in my memory banks makes me quite the strategist, wow. too. Well, do you want to fight? The odds are stacked against you, but you never know. Maybe today's your lucky day. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Let's play. Ace is high, winner takes all. Oh my gosh, I was prepared for Captain Lodestone. I was not prepared for Captain Clee O. Ooh, plus one AP starter. Okay, okay. Love it. This feels like it's gonna be a little bit of a more challenging battle for sure. Now we have Masquerade, which is going to end up doing a lot of damage with its poisoning powers. So we've gotta keep an eye out on that. Gambit. Characters with Gambit have massively increased stats, but are defeated when the timer on Gambit status runs out. Okay, so how long does the timer last? Is it turns? So I remember there was another thing that had turns that didn't quite match what my expectations were. Okay, let's keep a going though. We're not gonna focus too hard on that. We can beat them sooner than that timer runs out, all the better. So far we haven't, uh, I talked too soon, I was gonna say. Just, ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, wow, Ram has not been taken out in a long time, so this is this is pretty big. Um, I really hope no one targets Kimchika. Okay, <gasps> shoot, I am really in a tough spot here. 
Now, I know that plastic is weak against poison, so we're taking a big risk, but um, it's a risk I need to take. Let's do a shield bash. That seems pretty good. And we're going to continue with the double smack. Ooh! Poisoned, yep. Oh my goodness, we're, we're definitely taking a rough, rough beating right now. Okay, but we should be able to knock out Cleo's first cassette beast. Roll again, Gambit. Failed. I'm raising the stakes. Oh, that is super cool. Okay, Mask of Rattle should be taken out soon. Um, it's the last fighter to take their turn before this move. I think that was me, so I don't want to do that. Um, let's do... Inflame? Perhaps? Ooh! And we're gonna do a charge. Ah, Masquerade, no! Gambit failed? Alright, uh. good. Mmm, tried another gambit. All right, I see you. We're gonna try and do as many status effects as possible. Oh my goodness, not healing was really, really foolish. But if I had known, I, I didn't know. Mm, let's see, it's a whole team. We don't need to worry about that. So let's do copper chop. Um, and double smackaroos. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. K.O. These status effects are going to be what win me, win me the battle for sure. Oh my gosh. Acropolis doesn't even have health. Oh, so this, this is rough. Um, let's just do... Let's just do a pustule bomb. I'm gonna go full offensive to try and just knock this out as balls. Can she get a sliver of health? Nope, we're done. Oh god, I don't think we're gonna win this battle. I think this might be the first battle that I've lost. Oh geez, Louise. Maybe, maybe. Oh nope, 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 nope. It's not happening. Dang, if we had healed... Wait, Gambit failed? Ah, oh, dang, I was so close. If only I had healed. Then I... Oh. Shucks. Finally awake? Take it easy out there, Kimchika. I don't want you undoing all my hard work again so soon. Ah, oh, balls. Okay, no, but we, we're, we're gonna... We're not gonna undo the hard work, but we are gonna go back and win that battle. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, we were so close. Oh. Okay, let's see. Let me do map. I believe we were just right here. Travel, travel. Because if we could get two captains and an archangel in this episode, oh, what progress, what progress we would have made. Okay, this should be good. I don't think there was another cassette but I'm not gonna ease up too much just in case there is a third. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. Also the detail I like is that um, Cleo did not like falter their knees uh, because that probably wouldn't make sense for the robot design. They've been standing for so long. At the very least their knees are probably rested. You called my bluff. I'm impressed and definitely not resentful. I don't know about that. I'm reluctantly adding you to my internal database of humans I truly respect. It is a very small database. Here, your winnings. <sighs> hey, we're almost halfway to the rangers, uh, to our ranger training being done. So cool. You can cash that material in at Harbor Town's little town hall. You humans love to trade your meaningless little trinkets, don't Sorry. you? Sorry. I did not intend to direct my ire towards mankind again. Please ignore my remark. Uh, I, w I appreciate 
and I shall back away. Um, wow, progress, progress. Let's see, let's look at our, nope, not the map, request log. <gasps> we still have our three main quests that we've been working towards. Uh, there's a wrecked apartment that we could check, uh, an old ruin. Oh, hey, yeah, that's kind of it. We've, we've, we've cleared out a few things. Now I'm going to first go to maybe this wrecked apartment because we are very close to it. And then on the way there, perhaps, perhaps we'll be able to find that Archangel station that I saw. I believe it was on the water. Ah, oh, shucks. I was hoping I'd be able to just hop on over. There has to be. There has to be a way I can do that. Okay, we need only one more. One more square over. Okay, it doesn't look like I can. Oh, yes I can. Nice. Hey, we made it. Hello. Hey. Oh, uh, watch your feet. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Let me fix my things here. Hello. You don't want to trip up on all the junk laying around here, lying around here. Uh, where did this room come from? Hmm. Most people follow the sky and land in the ocean here, right? Not me. <laughs> I dropped in here with all my stuff. Oh, geez. This was once my apartment. Give or take a couple of walls. How did your whole apartment travel to New Wirral? <laughs> Beats me. Does mean I've got all my old sketchbooks and artwork, I'm though. I'm Felix. I'm Felix. Hi, Felix. Nice to meet you. I, they call me Kim Chica. Oh. I'm Kim Chica. Ah, been a while since I saw you, Felix. What are you uh, doing here, anyway? I'm looking for something. Uh... A lot of this stuff was wrecked when this whole place dropped out of the sky with me in it, and then the rain damage didn't help. But there's something around here that I'm confident will be intact. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> this seal is intact, so hopefully no water got in. What oh, was that like a reel? Maybe for photography or film? What's inside? Hmm. It might be hard to explain. Come swing by my place in West Harbor Town. Then I'll show you. Okay. Is this maybe going to be a new friend for our party? I think potentially. Okay, so let's go to our map. Because, uh, I believe, by the Harbor Town Station, um. there's something weird about these underground stations. They almost look like they were man-made, but they don't quite feel right. Do you know what I mean, Kimchika? It's true. I do agree that there is something funky about them, for sure. Um, I didn't have my brain extend to the fact that it maybe wasn't man-made, but I think it's a pretty, pretty good shout now that, now that you do say it. Okay, so there was a station right here. So, actually, hold on. Before we go in, because we, kn we know what's going to happen if this is really a station. Um... Yeah, no, we need to heal. So let's actually quickly travel to Gramophone Cafe. Do a little chatting, maybe hang out with our buddy, uh, get to know her a little bit better, and then visit Felix and then try it for hey. the Archangel station. The Gramophone Cafe always reminds me of my dad. He'd brew a pot of coffee every morning before heading into London for work. So that coffee smell, it's kind of seared into my brain. That's a nice memory. Uh, I guess so. I can never tell if I miss my parents. We never had a huge amount in common. They grew up in a different time, in a different place. <laughs> I mean, now quite literally. Um, it is interesting, though, how I feel like, especially as someone who's maybe, you know, considering being a parent someday, um, thinking about how I'm going to try my best to become a parent, but no matter what, my kids would always, they always would be growing up in a time and place that I have not experienced and cannot relate to in the same way that they do as kids. 
Uh, I guess there was a big generational divide. It's not my fault my parents listened to incredibly bad music. When I moved out of college, we didn't really stay in touch. It's okay. Oh, that sounds kind of lonely. Ah. I suppose it is. You know, I don't have many strong memories of growing up. I had friends and life experiences, but thinking back on those memories it always feels like something that was just happening around me. Just something I was participating in. Like I've never been fully in the pilot seat. I guess I was an uncool kid, then an uncool teenager. As for being an adult, huh? well, there's still time to see how I do this. Maybe I just need to make more friends whilst I'm here in New Wirral. <laughs> Ugh. No one ever tells you growing up that making friends as an adult is hard. Um, it is. It is definitely hard because not only are you balancing the challenge of making friends and building a relationship with someone, but there's the added factor of you have other things that you may be beholden to above friendship, right? You have perhaps a partner that you're living with and taking care of and like making sure that they're they're a priority. Um, there's kids. If you have kids, they absolutely have to be the priority as well as workplace stuff. Um, I have been reading articles though about how uh, for folks, maybe reframing friendship as one of those priorities is important. Um, and it's something that doesn't come naturally, I think, to, at least in the U.S., folks in the U.S. culturally, friendship is not seen as a higher priority. And I know I've been working through that in my own brain of making sure that um, my friends, like I'm hanging out with them, I'm there for them, I'm caring for them and um, making them a priority as I would a relation, a, like what we traditionally think of as like romantic relationships, putting our effort as much of that into f platonic friendships is really important. Um, it's interesting. Um, what about us? Ugh, it's easier with us. We have like a hobby together. We do? Adventuring? Is that it? Yeah, we're looking for a magic world portal. That's a hobby, right? I guess so. I mean, I, I hope we'd still hang out, even if we didn't find your doorway. Oh, you're cute when you blush. Ugh, <laughs> uh, you can't, you can't compliment me like that. I totally don't handle it well. It makes my whole body feel like it's folding in on itself. Huh. I'm more tired than I thought. Do you think transforming and battling counts as exercise? I guess it's pretty exhausting. Anyway, let's go and hang out together and punch monsters and stuff. <gasps> uh, we have 15% added strength infusions. That's awesome. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Now, I love that we've gotten to learn a lot with Meredith and share uh, just a lot of the concerns that she's had about making friends, building relationships, uh, especially in this new world where, you know, I think when you go somewhere new, there's this idea of, well, at least maybe I can do some things a little different, make myself who I want to be. Um, but it's challenging uh, to get rid of old habits, right? Where is Felix's house? Okie dokie. I think most of the characters that we work with have been all living on the docks. So I think that's that's where we found Eugene or Eugene's house, Kaylee's house, Meredith's house. I think they're all on the docks. I'm the only one who has a house above the gramophone cafe. <laughs> hey. Oh hey, you came to hang out. Yeah, I did. You want to see what I rescued from the sad remains of my old place? Sure. So in my regular life, I was a zoot artist. A uh, zoot artist? Hmm. It's easier to show. Check this out. So this is a zoot reel. You slide this into the zoot trope right here, then look through the slot. Oh, is it kind of like those, like a slideshow? The zoot trope has a motor in it, so when I hit this button, it spins. Oh, it's like the, the animation thing. Okay. The row of the zoat strip has the same image drawn over and over with variations. <laughs> when spun around, it animates and comes to life, right? Is that 
Arrête toi. <laughs> On guard. <laughs> Uh, then you can pull the lever to switch to the next row for the next part of the story. Oh my gosh, so cool! You can tell a whole story and bring it to life with just drawings. <sighs> I've been obsessed with Zotes ever since I was a kid. They used to be very popular, though they've kind of fallen out of fashion. It's more of a niche medium now, at least where I'm from, I mean. Most Zotes stories are about heroes in the French Revolution, like the Scarlet Pimpernel. But ever since the big budget movie adaptations really took off, there's been less interest in the source material. I get into the I got into these stories as a kid and couldn't shake my love for them. I guess that's why I'm an artist now. Hmm. Right now I'm trying to come up with some new characters. And it turns out an island full of weird monsters is the perfect place to find inspiration. Which means you might be able to help me out. I'm searching for a particular creature and want to get a good look at one. I know you can find it in the cherry meadow. It's a warrior with a wooden sword. Can you help me out here? Cool. Absolutely. I'll mark it on your map for you. Okay, Cherry Meadow. Felix is our partner! Oh my gosh. I love Felix. Felix is so cute. Brush or oh my god, and Felix is cassette beast. Brushrooms are keen artists and paint using the strange pigments that ooze from their heads. Ooh, brain paint. It has been observed that they are able to change the physical properties of an object they paint over depending on the color they use. Oh, that's so cool. Meredith has returned to the Gramophone Cafe. Ah, I see. So we can just look at the uh, Zote reel we'd like to. So now, what does the side quest say? Oh, right. So let's let's read and see. Discover this a little bit more. Uh, we have our quest log. Fight a warrior with a wooden sword in the cherry meadow alongside Phoenix. Okay. I think we can make that happen. Oh, see, now I'm conflicted. Do I do that or do I look for the archangel? I think since we're right here, we're going to do the archangel first. Here we go. Lake Caves. Oh shoot! This wasn't a station. I should have known. I should have known. There was no subway marker on the top. Ah, oh, I'm a dingus. I should have known. Okay. Well, no time to test out a new cassette piece and a new partner as with a fusion battle. Definitely, definitely what you should do. Let's just jump into a fusion battle. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this melee attack can only be used if the user has a coding active. Okay, always goes last. All right, well, let's give it a try, I guess. Ooh. Plastic coating now, so let's go in with a bite and let's go in with a paint swipe. Oh man! Oh my goodness. I need to start raising the agility of my cassette beasts. Now Felix is gonna be down for the count. This is not the optimal way to start the bed. That's for sure. And swipe, get in there quickly. Aw, oh, shucks. Okay, well now that I've changed it to plastic, I feel like uh, going in with Spitzfire actually may be more beneficial, so we're gonna switch that out. Yeah! Oh, wait. Extinguish? Dang it! Let's do zoomies. Dock leaf. No, not the healing leaf! Again, a reminder to myself that I need to see if I have that already or if I can get that for my beasts. Okay, good, good, good. So now let's do a smack. 
common oath. And I forget if air is stronger than fire or vice versa. Let's just bring in Acropolis, though. Bustial bomb. Again, nothing like a good poison moment. No dock leaf. Looking good. Try a sonic boom here. Well, that didn't really do much, but that's okay. All right, we should be good. Let's do a spit just to just to get the final final hit in. I can't believe I mistook that for a station. Oh my goodness. I feel a bit silly. Oop. Oop. It's like I don't want to fight. Not right now. Not that I've. Not while I've got some compromised. Golly. We have completed a handful of side quests um. and. I think we're what oh and two captains two cap ranger captains um i think i think we'll call it a day after we listen to this conversation i did have some engineering work back to do at the shop but i might just swerve it for now yeah yeah you gotta take a break sometimes buddy wait what did you say just now uh, uh i said i had some engineering work to do what did you say after that? I was gonna swerve it? Huh? Is that a phrase? To swerve something? Oh. Oh, I mean, yeah, like if you're going to skip out on doing something or going somewhere, that's you swerving it. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I shall embrace your unusual slang with an open mind. <sighs> I think I'm gonna swerve this whole conversation. <laughs> I wonder where swerve did happen or if that was just made up for this game. Uh, yes, we're gonna just hang out at Gramophone Cafe, not worry too much about progressing, um, simply because anymore, hey. because we've had a good day. Have you ever eaten butter tarts? I should totally make you some. Pretty sure I could source all the ingredients here. Well, raisins might be a bit hard to come by, but if you ask me, that's for the best. I agree. And on that note, <laughs> like you to all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are um that you find i hope you find lots of game and on that note uh i hope you all enjoyed today's video i again very much have been loving just this relaxed chill playthrough of cassette beasts um and i hope you are enjoying it too i am kim chica everywhere pretty much on instagram or not instagram on tiktok here on youtube and on twitch i'm kim chica and um yeah i'm very excited for what we have in store we've got so many demos uh coming out because of steam next fest so just be on the lookout we have lots of new games that we're going to be previewing and just experiencing for the first time together and if you're interested in playing games really thoughtfully um kind of like a book club style game club situation uh i would love for you to visit geeksandgrounds.com and see if you'd like to join sign up for the newsletter um we, there are so many games coming out and i know i feel like it's a struggle to really connect with games and i feel like i'm hopping from one game to another without really digesting it and so the hope and the proposition of geeks and grounds is to allow you to just really take time to appreciate games do it with the community and with the newsletters there's some guiding questions just to help you reflect whether it's you just thinking about it as you play or as you um write back because i got folks also who enjoy writing back each week and it's been really fun for me to read and email everyone back to but yeah so that's it for today i hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are you find lots of games to play and i'll see you next time in the cafe